Hi guys, my name is Courtney. I write under the pen names Lyra Parrish and I'm one half of the USA Today best-selling duo Kennedy Fox. And we're back in front of the bookshelf because my desk is an absolute mess. I couldn't, cannot record in my normal spot. So here we are, bookshelf life. I had my COVID booster like two days ago and I'm not even gonna show you my arm. Okay, maybe I will. Yeah, I slept for 24 hours. I am still feeling a little bit under the weather. But with that being said, I'm boosted baby and I'm ready to get on a plane and go to Wisconsin in like three weeks. So since the new year is right around the corner, I wanted to chat with you guys about self-publishing in 2022. I think that it's so important for us to have this discussion because there's always a lot of talk about how the sky is falling, how self-publishing is no longer profitable, how the market is oversaturated. I could go on and on and list all the negative things that I've heard about self-publishing and I can tell you that most of them have been said since I started self-publishing in 2014 and I am here to tell you that it is BS. Absolutely BS. Sure, the market is oversaturated, aka there are more people publishing than there were back in the day. What's the other one? Self-publishing isn't as lucrative as it used to be. The gold rush is over. That's the one I hear all the time. I would like to say that that is not true either. There are people who just started publishing in 2021 who have gone viral on TikTok who are number one on Amazon. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. So if the gold rush was over, then new authors would not be hitting the number one spot on Amazon. I hear a lot of pushback that things just aren't the same anymore and it's never going to get better. And as the year ends, people will start looking at their income that they made for the entire year of 2021 and some people will be very happy and other people will be very disappointed and those who are disappointed will be very loud. Those who are happy tend to kind of keep that to themselves, especially if they are women because women are judged for making a good salary on publishing books in this industry and that is an absolute fact. So I would just like to say that people are still doing very well. We haven't even finished December yet. I can tell you right now that Kennedy Fox had a record year. We made more money this year than we did last year. And we didn't quite make our goal of seven figures, but I can say that we were very close, which is amazing. And I think next year we will make that goal. Obviously this video isn't about that. I'll do a whole 2021 wrap up video coming up sometime really soon. But you know, I'm happy with what we've been able to accomplish. And if self-publishing was really dead, then we would not have been able to accomplish that, especially while the panorama is still kind of going on. Guys, Omicron, can, m must I say more? It's been a crazy almost eight years for me. I started publishing before Kindle Unlimited was a thing. I started publishing before gamification in places like Radish and Chapters was a thing. I was around before there was Kindle Vela, just like many of you were. At the rate that we're going, there will be new opportunities for self-published authors. Right now, we can get expanded distribution. You can have your books on the library networks. You can have your books on all the platforms. You can get hardcovers with laminate cases. You can get paperbacks. Like we have so much opportunity at our hands right now as self-published authors. It's there for us to use. It's there for you to use. I want to encourage you guys to step out of the box and not be so scared to put yourself out there. I have this saying where it's like, don't leave money on the table. I say it a lot. Don't leave money on the table. Like if you are not on Google Play, make sure that you go put your books on there. If you're not on Ingram Spark, even if you're afraid of returns and all that, you can turn it off. I don't know if people have really talked about that, but you do not have to activate returns, guys. You can turn it off. Don't let your fear of doing something new stop you from making more money. There are so many opportunities out there for self-published authors. I know that there are a lot of naysayers out there and there are people who will constantly say, oh, I self-published and nobody downloaded my book. And there are reasons for that. Their book may not be bad, but we have to look at someone's whole package. You have to look at someone's cover. 
does it actually fit with their genre. The thumbnail test will always help someone discover if their books are marketable and can compete with other books. Is the blurb catchy? Does it make people want to continue reading to find out what happens? That's a big one, right? Like if you have a crappy blurb, half the people will read it and they may be like, this book isn't for me and the other half may not read it at all. And then it all falls back on the contents of your book. Did you tell a good story? Did you hook the reader? Did you have good edits? There are a number of things that make a book great. And I would like to recommend Save the Cat Writes a Novel. It's an amazing book. It tells you the story structure of all best-selling books. They have these elements and it's literally like a guide to write a really great story. I like to call that the whole package. You need those three things. You need an amazing cover, a good catchy blurb, and you need to write a really good book. If you don't have those three things, more than likely your book's not going to sell. On top of that, you have to know how to market. You have to figure out the things that are gonna work where you can capture your audience, where you can find your core readers who are gonna stick with you for a very, very long time. You may have the whole package, but then you lack the marketing skills to get your book out there. I didn't rewatch my video from last year, so I might have said the same things. I have no idea. But the time is now because you know what? Five years from now, there's going to be even more people self-publishing. Ten years from now, even more people self-publishing. And there will always be new authors coming up. There will always be new books published. So the time is now. It's not later. The time is right now. So if you've got that book in your heart that you really, really want to publish, but you're scared or you don't know where you should start or you have people in your corner telling you that it's a bad idea because there's no money to be made and it's a waste of time or whatever the case is, I am here to tell you that they are wrong. Point blank, send them to my video, they are wrong. Our income continues to climb we continue to publish more books. We continue to build our backlist. At this point, I think we have what? Let me look it up. La, 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 let me look it up. As Kennedy Fox, we have 36 books released. 36? That's insane! How many books we've released in such a short amount of time. We've only been publishing since October of 2016. And that can be you too. If you started publishing in January, or if you started publishing in October of 2022, you could be at the same exact place that we are like five years later. Like I, I have zero doubts. It's all about being consistent. It's all about staying true to your brand and doing the best things for your books. Regardless if that's being in Kindle Unlimited, y'all know my opinion on that. I won't even start it here, but you have to do what's best for your books. Just because something doesn't work for our books and something that I personally don't like doesn't mean that it won't work for you. It absolutely can. And there is a mountain, there is a pile of cash out there waiting for every single person who publishes in 2022. It, the sky is the limit. You never know how your book's going to do. And you can't listen to all the outside noise when it comes to self-publishing. You can't listen to the people who say, oh, it's a horrible idea. I did that and it sucked. You can't listen to those people because your story is not their story. And it's different. And it's straight from your heart and soul. And it's something that you worked really hard on. So with that being said, that's my pep talk for today publish your books in 2022. It's just going to go up from here. Like I'm telling you guys, it's just going to go up from here. There's going to be so many more opportunities. There's going to be new things released. Every year something else is added to our self-publishing toolbox and we have more opportunities now than we have ever had before and they're just going to continue to grow. So yes, now is the time. I will say that forever, forever, ever, and ever, 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 ever for the rest of my life. Now is the time. Don't wait. Do not wait until you have like this sunshine come from the clouds and there's this magical rainbow. Don't wait. Don't wait. The time is now. And that is all I have for today. So it's giveaway time. We have a giveaway to announce and it's for the Fulton Street 918 bookstore. And I don't have my laptop in front of me, so I will insert who the winner is here. Please 
please leave me your Instagram at down below or leave me your email address, whatever you're comfortable with doing so I can contact you and get your address. Today's giveaway is going to be for Pacemaker and it is a web-based word count tracking software essentially and I love it. They've done a lot of updates over the last year where you can make your monthly goals and then put them into a project and so I literally just added up all my words for 2021 super easily by just adding all of my 2021 goals into my project and I'm super excited about it. So yeah, it is a $72 value. I will send whoever wins a gift card for that. All you need to do is put a smiley face emoji down below. And as I said, a week from now, I will choose a winner and announce it in next week's videos. So make sure for the other giveaways that have not closed yet that you go back and watch those videos. I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys real quick. I think that it's important that we share our words and we tell our stories and we put ourselves out there. In self-publishing, there's always something to learn. The industry is always changing. You're always having to adapt, but the opportunities are never ending. And I'm so happy to be a part of this community. I'm so proud to be able to share my knowledge with you. And I appreciate every single one of you. But anyway, that's all I have, guys. I hope you all have an amazing, incredible week. You accomplish all your goals and you write all the words. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye, guys.